All right guys, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, and I'm working on this 4Runner. So let's check. All right, so I definitely have not been out, out here all day. Uh, if you can see, we're having some crazy storms come in this afternoon and it's supposed to bring a ton of rain and some crazy killer wind, which if you can see the trees, it is blowing really hard. Palm tree over there going crazy. Those trees are rocking. Anyway, the wind is absolutely redonkulous, and because I paint inside my shop, I do not um, sand in there. So um, I did all the majority of the sanding just a minute ago. Um, I have stripped and puttied a couple of small dings that were on this fender. Um, I had to hand sand this decal off because it was literally baked into the paint. So I had to get that all off. So now I've got to go back sand it all. Um, I removed it with 80 grit. So now I've got to go build it back up to 800 grit. Everything needs to get built back up to 800 grit. And then um, we can put some primer on and start spraying. I got a little bit of sanding left to do on the hood and roof. I got the majority of all of the old clear coat stripped off. Uh, it's just a couple of small spots. This is actually primer. Um, and then I did the hood the same. It's super smooth now. Um, Got to do a little bit more sand. Like I said, I, I definitely have to sand a little bit more. Um, but I'll be backing it off from this. Uh, the hood was 320, which is usually what I start with. Um, the roof required some more bite. So I did some 180 sanding with that. So... Whenever you're sanding, you always want to back it up before you spray. Uh, you don't want the, the uh, sanding marks to be in your paint job. So uh, a lot of people will tell you 600. I like to go up to 800 before I spray. And so that's kind of where we're at now. So the majority of the sanding is done. Now it is just prep sanding and fixing, you know, making sure that those dings are smooth um, before I give it a good wash and then tape it up. So, stripes are gone, everything is good. And that's the end of kind of day two, kind of day one. I, th I think yesterday and today could be one day. I didn't work, it, work on it for a full day either time. Um, so, tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment and then I'll be back here to work pretty much all day getting this thing prepped to spray it. Um, if there's enough time, I will likely spray it tomorrow. Um, if not, I'll get it prepped and then I'll spray it the next day, hopefully. So that's the plan. I've got a few extra days on this one. Um, I got a few things that I'm working on in between and I should be able to get this thing done in the next three or four days and, uh, back to the owner. So. I'll keep you posted as I have more done, but this is part two of the uh, 91 Toyota 4Runner paint job. Catch you later. All right, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, Holiday, Florida, just northwest of Tampa. So, 91 Toyota 4Runner, this is part two. Um, I have spent probably six hours so far on this thing, sanding and removing these stripes that were literally baked into the paint. It was really not a good deal. Um, I had to sand and sand and sand to get them to go away. So, now that they're gone, I have, I hand sanded with 80 grit. <sighs> I mean, that's the only way I could get that stuff to go away. And because of the contours here and the body lines, I couldn't really get my, um, I use a DeWalt DA sander and I couldn't get the sander to lay flat. I could get the edges on there, which you see a little bit of burn through, uh, where I've got to prime some spots, but that's not a big deal. I am going to prime those spots tomorrow. Uh, I got a couple jobs I got to do tomorrow and then I'll be back in here to uh, 
basically I have to prime those spots. I've got to uh, sand out these dings that are here and then that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to remove these windshield wiper sprayers. Oh, I've got to go around those. I've got to sand around those as well. Um, I just did a quick semi rinseless wash. Really, I just used water to wipe it down to get it kind of clean. Uh, tomorrow, I'll clean it down really, really good before um, it gets mashed up. So, really, I've got to do just a little bit more sanding. In fact, that's the only piece of sanding I got to do other than fixing the uh, those dings right there. So I got to I'm going to pull that out. I'm not going to spray it with that in there, but this uh, red this burgundy pad is just like uh 600 grit. So I am just finishing up for the day. I was hoping to be able to paint today, but I got had some things going on. I uh, had a doctor's appointment this morning and Fortunately, that went well, and here we are. So anyway, um, I've got it the majority sanded, and really all I've got to do now is prime those spots and sand those flat. I actually just applied the putty, so um, I won't be able to sand it till tomorrow, but I get that straight and get the spots primed. Let that cure for a little bit, and then I can lightly sand those and then get it all taped up and basically spray it. I'm doing the factory color, so it's going to be uh, 179 is the paint code. This is dark gray metallic and base coat, clear coat. So I'll bring you back when I've got more done. I got the taillights pulled out and all the wiring taped up. I got the emblem pulled off. I still, oh shoot, I still got to pull this one off. He has new ones, but I don't have any fishing line to get it off. That's the problem. So I may, yeah, before I leave, I'm going to try to just pry it off. So that's what's up with that. Same situation on this side. Uh, the hood was absolutely horrible. I got it sanded down really flat. The roof was oh my goodness so bad you can see a lot of it here it's sanded down super flat yes i could continue to cut again you gotta think about this is a car that's being flipped he purchased it did a bunch of work on it now it's being painted he's trying to maximize his profit hi and basically i'm giving him a base coat clear coat job it's going to look fantastic, and it's going to be just fine for what's going on. It's not a show quality spray job. Same thing in the detailing business. If you're following me because you are one of my people that follow me for detailing and my detailing products, uh, same kind of situation. Uh, every single job, every single situation is different. Um, next week, I've got a car that a guy wants to, um, well, not next week. It's a couple weeks. I'm going to Key West. Got the bros trip. Every January we do a bros trip to Key West. So next week is that. And um, once I get back from there, I have, I think, a Mazda Miata to paint. And then I have an older Tacoma, this body style Tacoma. And uh, I have to get that done. I got a uh, GMC or a Chevy, a big Chevy crew, crew cab long bed dually, dually that... Uh, I'm working on a deal on now and that one that one's going to be a big deal job that one's going to be all that i've got the best work that i can provide kind of thing within reason uh and so uh more jobs are coming in and i'm going to take you guys along for the ride i want you guys to see what's going on potentially uh you might want to start doing some painting i mean look it is not easy work um but Somebody got to do it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is part two. Um, there will probably be two more parts. Uh, part three will be after I'm literally ready to paint. And then part four will be during and after the paint. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Check out my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, if you want to follow 
uh, my detailing stuff for detailjuice.com. Uh, InfinityCustomWorks.com will be live soon. It's in the works, has been for a couple months, just been very busy. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.